Morning all, hi, I'm outside of property on Rice Lane in Liverpool, one that we've just secured. And what we're going to do, um, I know a lot of you have shown an interest in it, so I'm going to take it actually through like a little video tour for those that can't get here. So let's go in. Okay, so we've just got a small communal hallway here, uh, which has got a light, which is pretty much straightforward. And then what we're going to do on the right hand side, we've got flat one. There's only two flats in the whole building, ground floor and first floor. So that enters into the ground floor to the right, walk through, and immediately you walk straight into your lounge. So it's a decent sized lounge. Uh, it's got electric storage panel heaters. Oh, sorry, electric storage heaters, and it's on a pay as you go meter. Looks relatively clean, just obviously need to remove some of the remove the furniture, give it probably, I'd probably say just even a, a coat of white, and away it goes. So that's the lounge, keep moving forward, and we're going into the bathroom. Unfortunately, we don't have any electricity in the flats because they're not, they are on the place you go eat. There's been vacant, as a vendor was intending to sell them through auction, um, but we secured it just prior to that. We've got in the bathroom, it's quite a large bathroom, uh, probably a bit of waste in space here. We've got shower, to the left hand side, shower cubicle to the left, panel spacing and toilet. And again we've got a little small hallway, well, it's like quite a long hallway, it's quite a large flat, as you know the electric's off. And then this could either be this wall, well, this would be the bedroom. Alternatively you could swap around the living room which is larger for uh, the bedroom, swap around or do whatever which you know, the tenant wants it to. Again, electric storage heater on the wall. You may want to decide to possibly change that to a panel heater just over time. And again, I think just need a bit of a clean up. You've got a rear view onto the rear garden there, which takes you up to all four properties. Garden needs a bit of a tidy up, admittedly. But it's nothing that can't, you know, a handyman can't, can't do within a day. Keep moving forward. We've got understairs covered, which is just just got some stuff in that just needs to be removed. That's not that's not really a hard task. And then this is your kitchen. So you've got an uh, electric cooker socket point there for electric cooker. There's no gas in the whole of the building, and the, the units look relatively clean and tidy. But you should pop the left hand corner there to, to isolate the water. And let's say I don't think we've got a key to get out to the back door. Unfortunately, not. But, so that's the ground floor of this property. So let's go and have a little wander upstairs. So as we come back out, we go right, and there's this, the doorway taking us straight upstairs. At the top of the stairs, we come right to the front of the door, which will take us onto the kitchen of the first floor, the kitchen of the first floor flat. Admittedly, this is one that probably needs a bit of work. As you can see there, um, we've got a bit of, it looks like a bit of condensation there. Looks like we've got a crack there where the fan hasn't been fitted properly. Uh, nothing that can't be sorted, but some of, the, you know, some of the doors are hanging off. But we've got a handyman in the area that can do all this. Electric hot water machine underneath there. So there's things that you know, might need the best part of a thousand pounds spending on the flat. I would probably say that's the worst bit about the whole building so far. Now in this flat here, make that we've got panel heaters as opposed to storage heaters. Again, we walk into this room, this I would consider the bedroom. Needs to clean, uh, we can see signs of some form of condensation there. Could tell us that uh, potentially the, you know, over time. Uh, couple of things that may be changing over time, the windows, because we've still got single glazed wooden, wooden frames. Um, and in here we've actually got the old storage heaters as well as the new panel heaters, so these have been upgraded to panel heaters. We've got quite a large communal land, well it's a landing here, it's not communal because it's for your own use. So tenants could use this to store like wardrobes, etc. And again, quite a large bathroom in this flat as well. I think it's got electric shower, like it will have, yes, because everything's electric, so it's got electric shower, triton shower. And now the lounge on this one is quite large. 
So again, I think a tenant may want to use this as a bedroom as opposed to a lounge, but it all depends on what they want to use it for. Again, the electric panel heater, page you go meter in the right hand corner, so each flat's got its own dedicated meter, there's no gas in the building whatsoever. I think it's a great buy for 70 grand. Let's move on to the next pot too. 